Hi folks, I'm Stephen Cronin. Thanks for joining me again for another watercolour demo. Today I've got a little coastal scene for you today with um, some very simple shadow paint, some very simple boats and silhouette them against the light sky. Very simple um, technique but quite effective. They used a very simple palette today. So all I've used, it was just ultramarine, light red, burnt umber and a little bit of raw sienna. So just those four colours. The brushes, most of it done with a large on Ranson Hake and then just use the, the two flat brushes for doing the boats uh, and then just a couple of little rigger brushes just for the, the, the small stuff. This is my new book available on Amazon, Watercolour Painting Made Simple Volume 4. There are eight paintings in there, loads of photographs to guide you through each one. So that's available on softback, hardback and Kindle. So I'm starting with a big hike and I'm just lubricating the paper all over so that these background colours can soften off. And I'm going to start off with a bit of, a bit of raw sienna, it's such a light red. And let's brush those in from either side. And I want to create a light section down the middle. It's a very limited palette, so I'm going to use just the three, the four colours, I think. Let's push that in there. Get a bit more life into that. Bit of brown, bit of blue. Marine, actually, it's a bit more red. Ultramarine down the bottom somewhere. I'm just being very careful not to paint over that central lights area because that's going to be the main feature of the painting. So, with that in. A bit of brown and blue. I want to start adding some clouds now, so I'm going to go dark, brown and blue. Something like that. Just touch the tips into the water because I want a chisel edge now because I'm going to have some narrow clouds going down towards the horizon line. So I'm sort of coming down like that. The horizon line is going to be about a third of the way up. And I sort of go down and down, narrower and narrower, down there. That's this nice, do some, just going to pop a few on the other side as well, I think. Just something, maybe it's a little bit lower. And they're going off as well. darken some of that a little bit. Right, so that's a sort of simple backdrop, just the four colours. Let's get it flat against the board. And I'll start thinking about the horizon. Um, what I might do, oh no, I'm going to leave it. I was going to start, I was going to do a bit of tissue work in the, on the, uh, in the sky area, but I'm not going to bother now. What I'm going to do is just dip the corner in just, just enough just enough water just to hold all the hairs together. That's all I've got. There's nothing else swishing around on the palette. Very, very simple. Mixing a bit of burnt umber, a bit of light red, a bit of ultramarine. Nice dark chisel edge. Right then, which way does the land go in? I'm coming across something like that. See how dark the dramatic effect as it cuts into that light area. Um, that's as far as I'm coming out this side. Again, just dipping the tips in, just keeping those hairs together. Nice dark mix. I'm thinking maybe I might scrape a few rocks in, possibly. Not sure yet. A bit more land. I think it's 
pretty dark down here. In fact, that's, that's going to sweep around, something like that. Not, I don't want to paint over that little light area section there. Again, just dipping the corner of the brush in and then the, the water sort of mixes amongst the rest of the hairs, bringing them all together, so you're creating this chisel edge in that way. I can put all these distant bits. That's sweeping out in there. You see how it's going on quite dark now. Well, let's just make sure that's flat against the easel. Often get little fingerprints, but as long as that, if you can imagine, this, that's going to be covered in a mounds. It's got my fingerprints there, but that'll be covered up, so I'm going to worry about the edges too much. And then as the paper dries, you'll notice it's, the paint's going on stronger and darker and darker. What I might do now I can hear the robin just outside the front door, the back door actually. It's quite nice listening to the birds as you're painting. I always have the, the door open whenever I can in the windows. I don't know if you can hear him on the uh, if the the, uh, the microphone's picking him up. Right, I'm going to scrape in a few rocks now before the paper starts to dry. So, I want the light coming from that way, so I'm going to have to, I've got to do it left handed. I'm trying to keep it so this is quite far away. So, you can imagine the light's coming down here, just catching these rocks. Few more there, a few big ones there, and then I'll try and keep them fairly sort. I don't want to get too barmy. Um, See them there, just for the smaller rocks. I think that's enough scraping of those. Now I'm going to give you a quick dry and then I'm going to start putting the boats in. So bear with me a sec. I just need to make sure. I just paused it for a sec then, I lost my me, uh, me clip. Um, I've, all I've done is just dried it, so I've, I've spared you the, the noise of the hairdryer. Right, I, I think I've finished with the hay brush now, so that's going to go in there. So what I'm doing now is, I'm going to switch to the little flat brush. I'm just wondering, well, I might, should I use the big one or the little one? So I can make the boats either either that wide or that wide. I'm just trying to think which whether just keep them subtle. Oh, I'm going to try the big. I'm going to use the big brush. I think Let's use the big brush. Have some big boats. I'm thinking maybe either three or five. They always tend to work better in odd numbers for some reason. I don't know why that is. Um, So I'm just going to, a bit of brown, a bit of red, a bit of blue, I'm just mixing those three colours together. So I want quite a dark colour, just to silhouette, silhouette the boats against that sky. Especially the, the lighter section. So I'm going to just pop in a simple, see now that's not dark enough. Uh, 
That's bad. Up in a simple reflection. It's a bit, bit wet. And then I'm going for a pop the mast in and then a reflection down below. Right, and then stick another one in. That's the first one, and then I'm going to stick another one, another one next to that. Okay, pop the main bit in. That was even slightly higher. Don't do them all exactly the same. Vary them slightly. This one's going slightly higher, so the reflection needs to come a little bit lower down. Um, I'll do this one just slightly closer, so it's going to be a, just a tad bigger. So let's pop. Pop the main bit in, and pop the reflection part down, and then the... The mass needs to be quite s uh, just a narrow, just a narrow mass like that. And again, come down as far as you go up. Something of see, I've made the look how symmetrical they are now. That's that's not quite what I was after. So what I might do now is I'm going to stick a. I'm going to stick another boat. In fact. You can't even see the boat. I'm just gonna let's stick one. Let's just stick one there. So I'm gonna do this one a lot bigger. This one's a lot closer. Um, to the mass, mass going right away up there, and I've, I'm sort of doing it automatically without even thinking. I'm, I'm spacing them apart, which I'm not trying not to do. But I'll, tell, I'll get round that in a minute. I'll put some background ones in. I'm just going to stick in one more over here. Just run that down, just so I'm, I'm, I'll make sure I've only got a very narrow, narrow mass. I'll do for that. Right now, what I'm going to do is pop a few in between. I'm going to switch to the smaller brush, same colours. Stick some in the background. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start with the mast. So I'm gonna stick a little mast there. Just see the top of the boat. You can't really see the reflection from there. I'm gonna stick another. Where should I put the mast? Stick another one there. Yeah. Just see the just see the boat up there. Yeah, I'm gonna stick something just there, just behind that boat. You can't can't see, it's just just behind there. I'm wondering if that's enough. Now. In fact I might just do a few little little ones that don't have masks. I'm going to leave it at that now before I go, before I ruin it. Let's 
Let's just have no, that ain't gonna work. Didn't work this time. We have a little. Three little birds up there, and then finally switch to the height to the number three rigger for the first time in the whole painting just to pop my signature down the bottom. And let's just pop my name down there. I'm going to call that one finished. So let's stick a, a main so I didn't see what it looks like. So here's the finished painting in its mains. So if we have a closer look, so I'm going to start with the sky area. So it was a case of brushing in from either side, whilst leaving this lit area that comes from the sky and then sort of reflects off the water in the centre. So the sky itself, it was various mixes of, um, starting off with a bit of raw sienna. Then there's a light red in there, a bit of ultramarine, burnt umber. You can see where I've used a slightly darker tone here just to create some clouds. And uh, got a nice chisel edge on the brush. And the clouds will get narrower and narrower as you go down towards the horizon line. Got another big low cloud here, just hovering over the, the cliffs there in the background. And I put those in nice and dark. And then scraped a few rocks into them just using the plastic card and I've, I've sort of did it left handed that that way it looks as if the light is catching the right hand side of the rocks up in the sky coming down catching the side of the rocks and you sort of automatically get shadows on the other side without even trying really that land juts right out into the lit area of the sea you see there the boat silhouetted nicely against the the sort of dropping sun i'll come back to the boat in a sec for now land the, the sort of bait sweeps all the way round. Yeah, nice bit of light there. Imagine a bit of water there reflecting the light. Scraped a few rocks. Try to keep it fairly subtle. I couldn't resist. It's, it's difficult to start once you start all this scraping. But uh, hopefully it's to good effect. And then painted the boats as dark as I could just so that I sort of silhouette against that light, just very, very simply with a flat brush. Pop them in and the masts and then pop the reflections down below, just to sort of make the water look a little bit more authentic. And then just finish it off with our three little birds there, three little seagulls up in the sky. So I hope you enjoy that. Thanks for watching. Thanks as always for your support and best wishes. Always very much appreciated. If you've got any comments, um, please feel free to leave them down below. So if you like what you see, please subscribe, like, comments. And until next time, keep practicing and happy painting.